Hi guys! I'm hoping you can hear me okay because I'm in the caravan right now and it was because it started to absolutely bucket down with rain and so I decided to come out here to a caravan and see if it made like a relaxing kind of background noise. It's actually just died down um, but it was super super raining a minute ago and it was really drowning out my voice so I waited a little bit and now it's more of just a little drizzle of rain but we'll see personally I love videos where people are driving and it's raining in the background that's like my most relaxing kind of video to fall asleep to uh, or if I'm actually in a car and it's raining oh my goodness so relaxing but hopefully it doesn't get too loud for you um, I actually have a pack of tarot cards to show you today they're called cat tarot I did do a video back when I first started, <coughs> um, <coughs> sorry, and it was a role play of a tarot reading, like reading your fortune type thing, I think that was on like bonfire night or something, but what I'm going to do today is literally just go through this entire pack of tarot cards, show you each card, just lay them out on the table so you can have a look, um, I'm not going to be looking up the meanings of them, just kind of show so, we have the front of the box, and it's like holographic, cat to tarot. 78 cards and guidebook. Then you have this little cat peeking out through the box, through the little alcove. And the same on the other side, just this little peeking cat. It says, seek answers to the past, present and future with a brand new gorgeously illustrated tarot deck led by the oldest symbol of wisdom, divination and inspiration, the cat. Contains a 78 card full colour deck and 108 page guidebook. So if we open it up, you see all these symbols inside. All different symbols, a moon, envelope, and paw print. So that's pretty. Put that there. And then we have first on top is the guidebook, which it's so small <laughs> considering how much it's got inside it. It's like really dinky. Um, so that says cat tarot and it has a little kind of introduction and telling you how to do it for more simple or more in-depth tarot readings. Then it has a little black and white depiction of each card and it just tells you what it means if you were to pull that card and it has different meanings whether it is drawn upright or upside down or reversed. So there's one per page and then near the end there's like two per page. So they're a little bit smaller. So it's a really handy guidebook, especially for somebody like me who's never done tarot before. I'm kind of just winging it, making it up as I go along. So let's put that here. Is that going to stay? Yes. Then we have the deck. So I'm just going to tip them all out. The box has the same kind of uh, symbols and pictures. I don't know whether it's worth me shuffling them. I think they're pretty um, well shuffled from the last time that I did this. But you can see they're pretty big, pretty easy to handle, very glossy, nice material. So the first one, oh, I've got them upside down already. The first one that we pick up is going to be the Knight of Cups. They're all quite comical, they're all very funny or very cute looking. So much time has gone into the creation of these cards. I'm not going to spend too long on each card because there's so many. But basically, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, ooh, what does this mean? Can anybody tell me who does tarot? I'm not actually sure. 
Oh, none of these do have names. They must be some sort of um, extra. Oh, I'm really not sure. Also, it doesn't seem like they are shuffled all that well because they all seem to be together. Let's see how many of these are. Right, there was four of those with no names. The star. That is a typical cat behaviour, knocking over a cup of water. Oh, this one's come up upside down. The chariot. Strength. The king of pentacles. Tuna time. Queen of pentacles. Maybe I only went through half this deck before, so they probably haven't been shuffled all too well. Knight of Pentacles. A nameless card. They do have Roman numerals on them though. So I guess you can guess from the number which one they are depicting. Oh, and this looks like my cat Sushi looks identical to sushi and that's something, a pose that she would do as well. Hopefully you like the sound of just gently turning over cards and you can just enjoy the artwork. Oh, I like this one, he's cute. The rain seems to have died down but I quite like the echo of the caravan, it's quite a nice one. Ace of Swords, and he's getting his nails clipped. I only have to do this to one of my cats because her nails, her claws kind of grow round into her paw pads, but she does not like it. I have tried incentive. Uh, what was that? King of Cups, Queen of Cups. I've tried giving her dreamies. I've tried being sweet to her. Everything. She just hates it. She bites me and she hisses. I kind of just do one every time there's like an opportune moment where her hand is, her, where her paw is just ready for me and I just pounce on it. Here's some nameless cards. Let's put some into this gap over here. Oh, this one's a beautiful autumn -y type card. I like that one. Let's put this up here. Little kitten. I always forget that the lighting in here is, like, I have my back to the light, but I can't do it anywhere else because that's where I've put the table so that I can see, like, out in front of me there's a window there and I can look at the house when I'm sitting in here. But it's not the best for light, so I apologise. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. And King of Wands. Let's put some over in this gap. Ace of Cups. I didn't know if maybe you wanted me to redo a kind of fortune teller type role play. I guess I would have to just look it up from the uh, guide because like I said I don't really know tarot too well. I'm just starting out kind of figuring things out. But I could do that like in a, in a more of a role play style as if you've come to have your tarot reading if that's something you think would be relaxing. This is what Binks does, the bite test. On every single box you just see a neat little row of puncture marks all the way across. He does it on absolutely everything. Page of Swords. Hard to look up what it means when they are just numbered. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> I like that. The Hanged Man. Well, you can't see down there, can you? Death. <laughs> I love that the depiction of death is a Hoover. That's so funny. Temperance. The devil. <laughs> See, these are so funny. They're just so cute and so humorous. For a first pack of tarot, this is so perfectly me. And um, 
I just I think they're really good. The tower. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit low and not as uh, the magician as relaxing as normal. It's I've had to have a really big cough. Like my throat was really bad before this video. I actually had to try and film it like three times. The high priestess. The empress. And the emperor. Yeah, I, I began to film it a couple of times and I had to stop because my throat just stopped working. I had to keep clearing it, but now it seems to be working, but my voice is a little bit low, so I apologise. The hi Hierophant. The Moon. The Sun. Judgment. Numbered, numbered. The fool. Oh my goodness, this looks so much like Porg because she just has one fang, but her one fang is at the top. But she's this colouring as well, but she has the folded ears. <laughs> He's so cute. Numbered, numbered. This is number two, and this is. Oh, is that number ten? I don't know my numerals very well. The Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords. Numbered. Numbered. The World. Ace of Wands. Numbered. Numbered. Ooh, an upside down one again. Maybe we should put this one to one side and see what it means. Oh, maybe they're all going to be upside down. No. Okay, so the lovers was also upside down. Numbered. Oh, the hermit is upside down. The queen of swords. The knight of swords. Numbered and numbered. So. Let's push these all together. Oh, it's like having a sheet of paper almost. And then I don't want them to go through the whole of the table, so let me do it this way. Just let them all fall down into place. And then turn them the correct way so that they are all facing the front. Almost there. Just a couple of little stubborn ones. There we go. And let's get the last of them. So this one also was upside down, was it? Or was it just. Did it just become like that? Okay, so if we put these to one side briefly, let's look at the ones. Oh, that one wants to come out as well. Okay, we'll have you as well. I'm going to collect up all the ones that came out upside down. This is just like random. I'm not getting this from anywhere. I'm just doing it <laughs> of my own randomness really badly shuffle them and let's pick three cards that we are drawn to and we can look them up and see what it means so I'm going to pick this front card the knight of swords in reverse I'm going to pick this card, strength in reverse, they may all be in reverse, <laughs> I don't think I shuffled them round. Which card next do you think we should pick? I'm feeling this card, but I feel we should turn it, it may still be in reverse, but look, <gasps> it is, it was meant to be in reverse, so let's move these over here. So, 
I'll turn them round so you can see them, but I'll read them, I'll read the reverse version. So we had the Knight of Swords, Strength was next, and then the Hermit was third. So, it's funny, these two look very alike, they're both yawning, and this one is looking like he's scared of the world. They both depict me pretty well <laughs> right now, I think. So, how are we going to find them? Do you think there's a contents page? Probably not. Okay. Let's skip the intro and try and find them. The Magician, Priestess, Emperor, Empress. Ah, the strength, and it was reversed. The card is a reminder to draw on the strength you may forget you have. Even house cats can roar. That's a good affirmation, especially if you're not feeling very strong, which I am not. I can't remember if I've... I think I have mentioned in an update recently, I've been having some really annoying health issues recently, and strength is a massive part of them because with it I have not been able to do much at all. So that's actually very, very uh, relevant and apt. So we're looking for the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. Oh, that's really weird. I wonder if the next one's on the next page. <laughs> so it was reversed. The Hermit card reminds us not to be scaredy cats. The world needs your wisdom. Come out of your cave and share it. So I am a massive scaredy cat. I am scared of a lot of things. I am scared of uh, medical stuff like needles, blood tests, jabs, all of that. I have social anxiety so badly that I barely do much. Avoidance techniques are a big part of my life. So if I need to make a return or you know go up to a till, I kind of panic in the queue. <clears throat> so, again, this is freakishly accurate for me. And let's find the Knight of Swords. Oh, don't want to miss it. Death, Temperance, the Devil, Tower, the Star. So this must be one of the minor ar arcana, is that what it says? I'll have to really uh, brush up on my tarot uh, ins and outs so I know what I'm talking about. So this is wands, we need swords, wands, wands, cups, 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 swords. Ace, two, three. Oh, these are the numbers, aren't they? Yes. Okay, so it looks like the first one, like the ace or the knight or anything with like a word in front of it, but then the numbers just mean which number they are of. Cups, swords, things like that. That's what it means. Okay. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, page, and knight, which is what we need, and then there's queen and king. So the knight of swords in reverse. Reverse. Your overconfidence is causing chaos, and worse yet, might come across as insensitive and egotistical. Leap too high, and you'll most certainly fall time to check yourself and rethink your approach. This has no relevance to me whatsoever. <laughs> Literally none, not a single word of it. Um, but it may mean that it's directed at one of you. <laughs> Although that sounds really mean because it's a really negative kind of outlook, but maybe it's just, you know, one of those random things things can't be correct all the time and it's always up for interpretation 
so maybe there's an element of my life that I am confident in but I don't know <laughs> did you just hear a giant pigeon land on the roof and slide in the rain and then little footsteps running that was straight out of a horror movie for me. <laughs> Maybe it's trying to tell me something. Maybe it's like, no, you're definitely insensitive and egotistical. <laughs> that was so scary. I hope it didn't make you jump like it made me jump. Sometimes pigeons do tend to congregate on the roof of this caravan. They love it. But anyway. Let me know if you'd like me to do some sort of tarot reading, a bit like what I just did here, but like maybe actually get a proper reading out of the book like they have. They show different setups. A single card, three card spread, five card spread, the poor, the loaf, <laughs> the horseshoe. And any other kind of role plays or something that you would like me to do, to do. I find it nice to make videos in the caravan because nobody's going to ring the doorbell, nobody's going to creak around the house, the cats aren't going to come and uh, disturb me. Not that I really mind, but sometimes when Porg comes in the room, she snorts like a pig, so that can be a little bit distracting. So, other than pigeons on the roof, I think it's pretty calming in here. It's a shame you missed the rain because it was a real monsoon, it was absolutely chucking it down. But I hope you enjoyed Cat to Tarot. Like I said, it's a really nice deck to start off with, especially obviously if you love cats. If you if you don't like cats, then it's not for you, but such a thick deck. Like there's so many cards. I guess you get the same amount in all tarot, but I just think it's really good. Anyway, I'm gonna put this away now. But I hope you have a relaxing little break and I will see you really soon. Bye.